In this video, we will talk about uh, Harrod Omer model of economic growth. Uh, briefly, we will discuss its main uh, assumptions, okay, and we will derive the growth equation for the Harrod Omer. Uh, by economic growth, as you know, uh, it simply means, uh, roughly speaking, an increase in the production of goods and services uh, in a certain period of time. Usually, we take an year in an economy. And for uh, measuring economic growth, uh, the proxy we use is the GDP or the parameter which is used for in, uh, measuring the economic growth is the GDP. Okay. Uh, this Harrod Dummer model uh, actually it's used in de development economies to explain an economy's growth rate in terms of the level of savings and capital. We will talk about the main assumptions. I will not talk about all the assumptions, but the three main uh, assumptions that this Harrod Dahmer model talks about. Okay, so first uh, assumption of the Harrod Dahmer model is that savings lead to investment. That is, uh, savings lead to investment what does this mean that means whatever is uh, saved in an economy is invested that is our savings is equal to the investment and it is obvious uh, when people uh, start saving okay so whatever is saved is actually transformed into the investment this is the first assumption of the Herodomer model next assumption is I'm just talking about the three main assumptions there are other other assumptions like uh, we have full employment level of income okay no government uh, interference we have a closed economy but I will not talk about that I will just uh, talk about the three main assumptions and I know you know better how to uh, take care of the other assumptions and second important assumption is that investment uh, investment leads to leads to change in change in capital change in capital stock now what does this mean uh, it simply means let us say we denote uh, investment by i is equal to del k okay this i is the investment and this del k is the change in capital stock it is simply saying whatever we invest uh, it leads to change in our capital stock let's take an example let us say uh, we have in last year we have a capital stock of let us say uh, 50 million dollars in last year okay and currently we have 55 this year we have 55 million worth of capital stock okay now our change in capital stock what we call the cap capital accumulation also is equal to k dash minus k here it is 55 minus 50 okay that simply means we have uh, 5 million 5 million uh, increase in the capital stock that is our investment leads to our investment leads to change in our capital stock uh, what is capital stock capital stock is just the capital accumulation okay and other uh, one of the most important assumption is that is the third assumption is that our uh, we have a constant constant capital capital output ratio output ratio now what does this mean this uh, constant capital output ratio mean it means first i will write here let us say we denote um, r is equal to k over y k is the capital y is the output okay it says that uh, in this economy we have this constant capital output ratio okay by constant capital uh, output ratio we mean that uh, there if capital changes by three percent why should also change by three percent so that we have a constant ratio here okay let me give an example here let us say uh, r is equal to or I will write here let us say our capital 
capital is uh, 50 million dollars okay and our output from this capital we get is equal to uh, 25 million dollars okay now r is equal to capital our gdp or income here that is equal to 50 divided by 25 which comes out to be 2 okay that means this 2 is constant in this economy okay that means uh, it means for for producing uh, one unit of output we need two units of capital so i will write here for for producing one unit of output we need we need two units of and this ratio that is r is equal to k divided by y this uh, ratio remains constant this is one of the um, important assumption of this uh, Harrod domer model okay so uh, here we can also see that means let us say our capital changes by capital changes to 100 million and resulting output changes by 50 million okay then our r is equal to k our y is equal to 100 divided by 50 which comes out to be 2 that means in this economy the capital output ratio does not change it remains constant okay now let us derive the growth equation first as we know first assumption uh, was our that a savings is equal to investment second assumption was that uh, mm, what we say investment leads uh, to the change in the capital stock that is investment is equal to change in the capital stock and third assumption was our that uh, we have constant capital output ratio that is our r is equal to k divided by y okay now uh, and this remains constant this remains constant this capital output ratio is constant now uh, we can write uh, it like this if there is change in the capital and also there is change in our output it should also remain constant that means change in capital should be in proportion to the change in output that means if capital changes if there is increase in capital there should be a proportionate change in the output also that means if capital changes by let us say three uh, percent then our uh, output should also change by three percent that means del k uh, our del y should be equal to r okay and if we rewrite this we can uh, write it like this uh, let's cross multiply we have let me rub this out this is uh, del k is equal to uh, r times del y okay or we can write r times del y is equal to del k okay or um, del y is equal to del k upon r okay and what is this del k we ha we have he shown here del k is equal to investment and investment is equal to saving so in place of del k i can just write uh, i but i is equal to s we can write in place of del k i will write s that means del y is equal to s over r this is the growth equation uh, in the harrod domer model and what does this uh, what does this tell it simply tell a uh, change in the gdp or change in the growth rate of a country depends upon the level of savings this is savings okay savings uh, and it depends upon the capital uh, capital output output ratio okay that means uh, uh, change in the output of an economy 
rather the uh, rate of economic growth depends upon the two things that is the level of savings in the economy and the capital output ratio higher the savings will lead to higher investment okay and we uh, simply we have here capital output ratio as i have told you a uh, number of units of capital required to produce one unit of output is called the capital output ratio and here we can just take an example let us say in a hypothetical economy we have a saving rate of uh, let us say 30 percent okay and we have a uh, capital output ratio is equal to which is or let us say capital output ratio is 10 okay then uh, the herodomer model tells us that growth rate in this economy would be then s over r which is equal to 30 percent divided by 10 which is equal to 3 percent then uh, by this herodomer model uh, we say that uh, it should change our growth rate should change by 3 percent i hope i make myself clear thank you Jalashana.